everybody, it's Jonathan with Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome to another outdoor kitchen analysis. This is going to be an interesting one because it features a kitchen that is a U-shaped or horseshoe. And typically, I don't like those designs. I like the straight run. I like the L. Um, I don't usually like the U-shaped because I find that more times than not, you don't have enough room to operate between the legs. Um, you need at least uh, four feet at, the, at a minimum. If you look at one of the prior videos I just did where I was just like, do not copy this outdoor kitchen design. Uh, the homeowner had about three, three and a half feet, if that, um, in between the two legs of the U. And it's like claustrophobic in there. So this island's different. This is a really beautifully executed U-shaped island. So let's dig into it. It's in Pelham, New York in Westchester County. And this island consists predominantly of al fresco with a Memphis grill. So we're going to take the island from the left and wrap around. I'm going to tell you all the components. And yes, I did have to write this down because this is from a little while back. We've got the al fresco AXE TC2D trash straw. That's for trash and recycle. Then we have the 29 inch Memphis Pro, which is what I own. This is a built in version with um, al fresco uh, components underneath it. We then get the Alfresco access door with a trash uh, pullout on top. We then, we're in the middle section right now, by the way, the Alfresco 42 inch ALXE grill with the dry storage pantry underneath it. Um, that is the reason why there's an access door to the left of it to get to the gas um, and the electric. Uh, we then have the Alfresco side burner, the double side burner. We have the Alfresco three draw storage component. And then moving on to the other leg, this is his cold section. So there is an undermount sink in there uh, with access door underneath it. And I believe there are one or two Marvell refrigerators on that side of the island as well. Also by having the sink and having the refrigeration on the far leg away from the cooking, you keep traffic away from the hot stuff. And he has, uh, this homeowner has some small children. At least they were small when this thing was built. So uh, smart way to uh, to lay it out. And the nice thing is that now Memphis was purchased by the company who owns Alfresco. So now Alfresco and Memphis are tied together. One point of service, which is awesome. And they're both best in breed um, brands uh, for their particular categories, at least in my opinion. So what do I like about this? The fact... The fact that there's so much room, I mean, there's actually a gulf in between the two legs, creates just so much space and airiness and the ability to have multiple people in there working. If he's grilling or if he's tending to the Memphis, he can have somebody else, you know, pre prepping at the sink, um, cleaning stuff at the sink. You're not congested. If you take this and you juxtapose this against the other video I just did, you can't fit two adults in the space. Whereas this, there's room for plenty. Okay, so they, they did a very nice job of spacing things out. Um, as you can see, the countertop they tied in to the patio. I think it's a bluestone countertop, if I'm not mistaken. So it definitely ties into the, to the aesthetic, the overall aesthetic of the backyard space. Um, if there is something I would change on this island is I'm not fond of the stone that was used on the veneer. First of all, I don't like mosaic patterns, okay? Um, and then there's also one of the stones, as you can see, has like a brick or a reddish um, hue to it. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I just don't like the way it looks. Um, again, their decision, their kitchen. Um, if they like it, kudos to them. I personally don't like it. Um, and again, I don't like mosaic patterns as well. I would prefer like a stacked ledge if I was supposed to, uh, if I was going to do stone. So um, that's really the only negative I could think about it. This is certainly one of the better islands that I've worked on. And I've had a lot of folks ask us about this. You'll, you'll notice also from a utility standpoint, they've got um, the high back bar, but not, not a high back bar for people to sit at. It is elevated with the electrical sockets 
um, facing in on the island so they can be used for anything from charging cell phones to plugging in a blender. So everything is there at the island, running water, the ability to smoke with the pellet grill, two other gas cooking devices, refrigeration. That's about it. If you have any questions about this island, please hit me up. You can get me at john, J-O-N, at curtos.com. Um, if you go to our gallery, you will see a breakdown of the items with links to them on our website. Yes, we do ship these nationally. Or if you're in the tri-state area, come on down and join us. Take a look. Folks, thank you for your time.